to another episode of Horse Hacks. So the weather recently has been absolutely glorious. So hot and sunny. We haven't had rain for a while, which has its pros and cons. Um, unfortunately, the ground is quite dusty. So my pony absolutely loves rolling in it. So he is so dusty and dirty and itchy at the moment. Molting season's just coming to an end. So I thought I would take this opportunity to give him a lovely bath, cool him down a bit and just clean him up. Now, he absolutely loves rubbing his tail. It's the first thing he does as soon as he gets into the stable. So his tail is looking a bit horrific at the moment. Um, and like I said, he's itchy all over. Now, I'm actually on Instagram. Check out my handle below. I found this amazing company on Instagram called Steed and Soul, and they produce um, massage bars for horses um, amongst lots of other different products that are completely natural um, and they look a little bit like this you see it's got the bobbly bits on I'd just like to take the opportunity right now to say that I'm not sponsored by them I'm not a brand ambassador I'm just giving my honest review completely unbiased review of what I think of their product now this one is for grubby greys and it's spearmint flavored smells absolutely divine and in case you may have noticed, a lolly is chestnut. He's definitely not a grey. Um, however, because he is quite itchy all over, I thought that the spearmint one would be ideal because it would be quite calming, quite refreshing on his skin. So without further ado, let's go and bring him in. <music> As you can see here, this is the cute little bag that the soap bar arrived in. Um, you can see a lot of thought has actually gone into uh, their product and the brand and what they're about. Um, when I received the package, it came in super quick time. It arrived within a couple of days of ordering and they um, had some sweets and I think it had like a little horse charm that came in with, us, with it as well, which was really nice. So the main things that I'll be looking for when I use the massage bar is, does it smell good? Does it lather lots? Does it get rid of all the grease and all the dirt that my horse has rolled in? Does he find it soothing? And does it leave a residue? Because I don't really like soaps that leave a residue because then that attracts even more mud. And then you kind of get into a cycle of building up grease and dirt and itchiness. And I'm actually trying to break that cycle, obviously, which is why I'm bathing him. And here we have the dreaded bog brush tail. There we go, you see he's rubbed all those bits off. Right, let's see how we get on with Steed and Soul's Spearmint Massage Bar. <laughs> tell which leg I've cleaned so it's this one on the left so as you can see his tail is a lot lot better it doesn't seem as itchy either it feels really nice and smooth and all those hairs have smoothed down but there's no residue or anything left and as you can see we have a lovely shiny pony <laughs> So I've had the bar a couple of months now. I've used it about four or five times. It's still going strong. Um, we're just coming to the end of the summer. So Lolly's starting to molt his summer coat. And the really handy bag that it comes in is actually brilliant for getting rid of all the fur and all the tiny like little bits of dirt and grease. So would I recommend Steed and Soul's Spearmint Massage Soap Bar? Yeah, definitely. I think it's a thumbs up from me. It's not left a greasy residue on his mane or his tail. It's left it feeling silky smooth. As you can see, his fur is all shiny. He liked the smell of it as well. He gave it a good old sniff. But yeah, I would definitely recommend it. 